This is Trek South Africa out at the Woodhouse Peak in the Golden Gate National Park. It's been quite a trek up here, probably about three hours from our, our main camp, camp at the bottom, where you can have a rest camp and there's chalets and a hotel. Beautiful place to come. But more specifically on the point of, of where we are, it's a grassland biome, which is an exceptionally interesting part of the world. This place was known many years ago to, to hold many antelopes and bovids in this area such as the wildebeest, the zebra, the orobi and many other different species of animals. In the distance there, there is actually a lonely wildebeest, black wildebeest that is grazing there. And wildebeest like to eat the smaller parts of grass, the short grass, whereas the zebra likes to eat the more bulkier grazing grass. So it's, it's good ecosystem succession out here in the Golden Gate National Park and that's something that if you were interested to go into a little bit more depth one in terms of conservation and how do we need to manage fires in these areas to to help antelopes survive in these ecosystems but have a look at this drop that we have just in front of us here it is quite a high altitude I think we are about 500 meters up from the hotel which is just to the right there and the chalets at the bottom there What's so significant about these peaks is that they are sandstone peaks, which means that these areas were, were part of the, the, the sand rock paintings. It, was one of the, it is the only rock that the sand people used to draw on, and they used to draw elands on it, and you can also find elands here at this park and reserve. The birds that you can find are the black eagles. They had big nests out in these sandstone rocks that they then um, raised their chicks in, which we actually saw one a little bit earlier. Hopefully we can bring you a little bit more from the species side here at the Golden Gates National Park. It's a privilege to bring you here and share this experience with Trek South Africa and the rest of South Africa.